you are not alone. We are in it together. We all have challenges, myself included. Learn to help one another. Learn to say a good word to one another. Learn to be focused. Work hard. A day will come when you will smile. Even if it is two years, four years. Another example, people going through divorce. Divorce is becoming like a trend. Like a trend. You're married, you go to ask the guy, are you still married after two years? He say, if he says, yes, yes, you say, mashallah. Because you know, now it's like sort of uh, not the norm anymore. The norm is like, you married? Awas. You say, subhanallah, may Allah grant us ease. It's not bad to actually be divorced for the right reasons or to divorce for the right reasons. But when it becomes a trend, it, it is scary. We are not prepared to sacrifice for one another anymore. We are not prepared to forgive one another anymore. We want a perfect human being who is spotless without any weaknesses. That's what we are looking for. Well, that you will only find in paradise if you ever get there. May Allah grant us Jannah. Now people say, I'm going to get the perfect spouse in Jannah. I say, are you even going to get to Jannah? That's a question. How can you say that? You're supposed to give us hope. I said, that's a statement of hope. Because when you start thinking, gosh, am I really going to get there? It will get you up for Fajr. But if you didn't think of it, that am I really going to get there? Wallahi, yesterday I had a question from someone, a silly question, very silly question. Someone asks me, will we be allowed to steal in Jannah? I mean, how far can your mind go? To be honest with you, how far can your mind go? Will you be allowed to kill in Jannah and steal in Jannah? Because if you can do anything there, like Allah says, you will be able to do anything. So I said, the pure mind will never ever think in those lines or on those lines in that direction. Never. My brothers and sisters, when divorce happens, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Perhaps it is a door for you to then get to someone else. Had you not been through your first relationship, you would never have gotten to this much, much better person that you subsequently got married to. See, I see a lot of people nodding here. Mashallah, what's going on here, guys? May Allah grant us ease. Allah open our doors. But the moral is never give up. We go through challenges. We go through hardship. Let's look forward. Let's progress. People sit and say, I'm going to fix this ex of mine. You know what? Just move on. By making someone else's life difficult, it's not going to make your life easy. Not at all. You want ease? Close a chapter. Open a new one. Let's move forward. Thank Allah. Beautiful relationship. And let's move. May Allah grant us goodness.